What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel B Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, man, it looks like R. Kelly, man, is planning on fleeing the country, man. He is tired of all the backlash he's been getting, man, for being a sex predator. And he's ready to go ahead and jump ship. Now, reportedly, man, he's actually planning on actually going to Africa, man. After attempting to actually sue Lifetime for the surviving R. Kelly series, that actually didn't work out in his favor. You know what I'm saying? They tried to send him some cease and desist orders, but Lifetime kept it moving because Lifetime got money. And they like, nigga, we ain't never scared. So they kept going with the documentary, man. And it looks like his life has just turned upside down. Now, R. Kelly has had one hell of a week and a half, man. And I'm sorry. Sorry, that dude is even a Capricorn. Like, that's really embarrassing, bro. And, uh, y'all, my birthday is tomorrow, one day away, man. So make sure y'all wish me a happy birthday, man. January 12th, flood my comments, flood my videos. Watch all my videos, man. That'd be the best birthday gift in the world. You know what I'm talking about? Do that for your boy. But, yeah, man, R. Kelly is going through a lot right now, man. And rightfully so. Dude is kind of nasty. I wouldn't even say kind of nasty, dude. is very damn nasty. So apparently, man, he is planning to actually haul ass to Africa and he's probably going to build like some type of fortress like to do, you know, what I'm saying Jim Jones from Guyana, man. Like, you know, what I'm saying when he went to Guyana, he took all those Guyanese people over there and he built his own little colony and they all drank the damn drink and they all passed out and they was all poisoned. If y'all haven't seen that documentary, man, please, please watch that documentary, man. It's crazy as hell. Jim Jones was a nutcase. He had a sex coat. Like, he impregnated so many women, man. He had, you know what I'm saying, black folks out there busting their ass. Like, just, and they was lost, man. They was real lost. So, it sounds like R. Kelly's doing the exact same thing. He's doing some type of mind manipulation on these important officials women, man, that has no self-esteem about themselves whatsoever. Now, also, man, R. Kelly had a recording studio in Chicago, man. Dude was paying $22,000 a month. So, apparently, it looks like he fell about four months behind on the rent, and he's going to get evicted. He's already been evicted, man. He had two weeks to settle up or haul ass. Now, apparently, he owes the recording studio $80,000. You know what I'm saying? Dude has not been paying the bill at all. But I'm thinking like, damn, if you are Kelly... Why are you even renting a studio? Why did you not put your money into buying your own studio? That makes no damn sense. Just like K. Michelle getting evicted out of that big ass mansion. The same mansion that she actually ended up getting from T.I. That was, you know what I'm saying, owned by somebody else and she was renting it out. And her shit was like, what, 10, 20, 10, 20 bands a month. And she's like 70,000 in the rear. And it was on like a seven month lease. Come on, man. Y'all got to be smarter with your damn money, bro. Like, I don't understand how y'all are making decent amount of money and you're not, like, purchasing shit. Like, you need to be buying stuff that you can actually own. Like, you renting out shit for $22,000 a month when you could have bought it cash. Like, you done seen that kind of money in your life. But you're not using it wisely, man. So, yeah, R. Kelly's getting evicted from his recording studio. Also, man, he was actually in the club celebrating his birthday, man, and a VIP, and somebody dropped a dime saying that R. Kelly had an outstanding warrant and the police need to pull up and come get his ass. TMZ reported on that, and uh, you know what I'm saying? They did actually, police did show up, and they did question R. Kelly. They ran his background. They saw he actually did not have an active warrant, so they let him go, and he went on to, you know what I'm saying, celebrate his birthday. But yeah, definitely, definitely crazy information, man. I really think R. Kelly's getting ready to go to Africa somewhere, build a colony with these women, and just, you know what I'm saying, be free for, you know what I'm saying, have some immunity against the U.S., man. Now, once he get over there, y'all ain't gonna get him back. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna be able to extradite him, none of that shit. He gonna be tucked away somewhere with a bunch of his African fans over there, and he gonna be like, I ain't coming back to the U.S., dog. I'm free from that. He going to disappear. Ain't going to be no more music. Or he might do some tracks with some congas and that shit. Uh, maybe about five or ten years down the road. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. R. Kelly, man, he's on the loose. 
they need to come get the dude, man. They need to come get the dude. Uh, he need to be hooked up to a lot of tech to test and all of that right there. And he need to, we need a confession out this dude, man. Need we can't get no confession. We gonna, we gonna force a confession out this nigga. We gonna put his ass on a lot of tech to test and he gonna have to do what he gotta do. And he gonna have to face the music. Literally face the music, dog. Now, I was actually listening to some of his music the other day, man. Cause uh, I was gonna mention some of that on my podcast, man. And, uh. That one song, uh, Bump and Grind in the beginning. Y'all need to listen to that song, man. Analyze the track. He talking about, yo, my mind's telling me no. My mind, right? His sick-ass mind is telling him no. But it's a little perverted, but his perverted-ass body is telling him yes. He don't want to hurt nobody. But it's something that he must confess. Now, that if, if that ain't the, the lines of a sexual predator, I don't know what the hell it is, man. I don't know what it is. I mean, that's got to be some of the the craziest, most perverted shit. I mean, it's, it's, it was a confession. We ain't know shit. We was entertained. You know what I'm saying? That was that baby making music. We was like, hell yeah, we finna we finna cut up on this song right here, man. But um, R. Kelly was telling us from the beginning, dog. He was telling us from the beginning. That he was a perv, but nobody really wanted to listen to him. He was telling us from the beginning. Now, the whole crazy thing, man, is that, you know, with the whole Jay-Z and Foxy Brown situation, you know what I'm saying? Jay-Z was smashing Foxy Brown when Foxy Brown was underage. And now, you know, he's and Dame Dash is basically trying to compare that to R. Kelly smashing Aaliyah when she was very much underage. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It's all nasty, and they all need some help, man, like... Y'all shouldn't be dealing with teenage girls, period, dog. Period. Don't deal with no teenage girls, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all some old-ass dudes, man. Like, why y'all old-ass dudes dealing with some teenage impressionable girls, ruining their lives, you know what I'm saying, making them crazy? You know what I mean? And so many people are, are, are blaming the family, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the family is to blame. But, you know, sometimes, man, when people get to a certain age, when these women get to a certain age, ain't nothing really you can tell them. There's nothing at all you can tell them. You can, you know what I'm saying, you can kind of try to stand in the paint for them a little bit and, you know what I'm saying, and 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 teach them the right way and teach them how to go and teach them how to live and teach them how to be young ladies, man. Teach them how to be classy ladies. And fathers, man, y'all give y'all daughter some real role model type dude so she ain't got to go deal with some scum ass niggas. Excuse my language, y'all. So he ain't got to deal with some scumbags when they get older, you know what I'm saying, because they didn't have that love from you when you was there you know what i'm saying when you was able to love them and they was able to to understand how they should be treated by a man so yes do i do i blame the families and the parents absolutely i do and i know i know some of y'all gonna be like oh well the girls gonna do what they're gonna do and the girls should have known better yeah they should have known better but yeah i don't understand what them what these chicks got inside of their heart man you don't know what they've been through you don't know they past you know what I'm saying? You don't know how they was treated as kids. They, some of them might have been touched as kids. It's a lot of crazy stuff that women be harboring, man, inside that a lot of times they don't even talk about. But it can kind of, but their upbringing dictates how they are in the future. The type of men they choose. You know what I'm saying? Their, their, uh, their sexual preference. It can determine that as well. Like some girls, you know what I'm saying? They may get molested and they end up being gay. They be like, yo, I don't want, I don't want none of that. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't a good experience for them. So that, you know what I'm saying? They end up liking women. All because somebody, you know what I'm saying, violated them when they was kids, innocent kids, violated the hell out of them. And I know one of y'all in this listening to this video, man, if y'all went through something like that, y'all need to be free from that, man. Y'all need to break free from all the pain that you're feeling. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand what it's like to go through anything like that. I never experienced anything like that. But my heart does go out to you. You know what I'm saying? And if you, I mean, it'd be some nasty shit going on, man, in, our, in, in the black community that a lot of people don't even talk about, bro. It's a lot. And I know some women, y'all scared to tell y'all parents. Like, y'all never told y'all parents. Y'all never told anybody. You know, y'all might have told one person and nobody else. But y'all need to heal from that, man. You need to heal from that. You need to, you know what I'm saying, try your best. You need to pray on it. It's a lot of things, um, a lot of outlets for you to get help to, you know what I'm saying, to help help change you, man, to help you for the better. And I definitely wish the best for anybody, man, that went through anything like that. But um, 
Yeah, man, for me, it's a rap for R. Kelly, bro. I mean, I was a fan of his music, man. And I was really hoping that all them allegations wasn't true. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was just a big old pimp and just had a whole bunch of chicks. But apparently, I mean, he's, he's taking the, that shit to a whole nother level, a very, very disgusting level. And also with him violating Aaliyah when she was just a baby, man, that, that shit was, was bad, bad for me. You know what I'm saying? I remember watching Vlad TV the other day. And, you know, they was kind of like, oh, you know, well, at the time when we dropped the story, we thought, OK, they was just young and in love. Like, you know, yeah, R. Kelly was 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 in his 20s and, you know, Leah was like 15, 16. And I think people kind of overlooked it at some point. They were like, OK, well, that's just love. And that's just, you know, an age gap. Because y'all think about it. back in the days, um, that, it was pretty common for an older man to link up with somebody younger not no teenager i mean maybe maybe it was some teenager shit because you know back in the day it was just a whole different time and you know people was getting married at 14 and all this old wild stuff but it's definitely unacceptable in our culture today and i just think it's plain nasty for any grown-ass man to even look or even think about a teenager in that way y'all niggas need to be shot i'm just saying lionel b said it so y'all let me know what y'all feel about this man don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Share the videos. Once again, man, my birthday is January the 12th, man. So if you don't see this video till January the 12th, I want to see a whole bunch of HBs on my shit, man. Happy birthday, Lionel B. Happy birthday, Lionel B. All right, man, I love y'all, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the videos, and I'll peep y'all on the next one. Holla.